iPhone 5s but do we have the sublimation that can match iPhone 5s here it is compared to last year we have very different soft sleek and fashionable model it's made of high quality plastic that is heat proof and the soft silicon buttons will make you feel completely different from the last model as you can see the weight and the volume of the machine is so compact that you can take with you in your luggage that will save the cost of the delivery though it is small and light it can print over 40 different types of marks iPhone covers and plates the beautiful colors are what our professional customers are looking for our machine is equipped with radiating fans with double vanes that can give the best effect and control the temperature accurately giving the best effect to the pictures the features of the machine are designed so well that it can work unattended look the size of the machine is so small but it can print four mugs at a time the machine has far infrared heating tube that can work for 100,000 hours at a time that reduces the job of changing the heating pads again and again here we introduce the control panel of the machine this is the power next is the time settings the temperature on the right is the heating power next is the vacuum and the last one is the starting time for your attention don't plug the machine for two minutes this is the picture click before we just take the print out of the picture now our technician will help us to show how we can do the sublimation on the iPhone cover this is the packing tape you can stick the ends of the picture to the iPhone cover same he did on the other end of the cover turn on the power press the heating button wait for two minutes to reach the heating point when the machine starts beeping it means that it has reached the heating temperature now it's ready for the sublimation put on the gloves please note these are the special heat proof gloves open the tray press the green button you can put it the oven back into the machine open the cover of the heating pad and as you can see put the mobile cover into the heating pad close the cover of the heating pad firmly this is the air hose link you can put the air hose link into the oven here it is now it's ready for the sublimation put the oven back into the machine and press the timing button when the time is over you can hear the beep that the sublimation is ready now 
put on the heat proof gloves to take out the cover. This is how you can take out the cover. Take out the oven from the machine. Take out the heating pad. Put the oven back as before. Open the cover of the heating pad. And be careful, it's hot. Open the paper of the iPhone cover. Wow, you can see the sublimation on the iPhone cover. Can you see the color effects? It's very soft because it's hot now. To cool it down, put it in a special mode. This is how it fits in the special mode. Now put on the silicone cover to protect your iPhone. The silicone cover is better that can protect your phone. When the sublimation cools down after two minutes, you can attach it to the silicone cover. It's done. Now you can see how beautiful your iPhone looks like. Now let's see what happens if we drop our iPhone. Wow! But you see, it's safe and sound. Your phone is well protected. Nowadays, 3D film is very popular. It's convenient to use because it doesn't need any cutting, sticking or taping. Also, the result comes out in four angle effects. You can see the effects of this 3D film is very clear. Here are the two different inks that are used for our machine. One is low temperature ink and this is high temperature ink. You can see the difference in the yellow color. Low temperature ink is used to print on the normal plastic like ABS but high temperature ink is used to print on heat proof plastic. Now we use low temperature ink to print the sublimation on the iPhone cover. First of all set the temperature to 160 degrees. For different material we use different temperature settings. For ABS, we use 100 degrees centigrade. Now, set the second temperature to warm up the film. Press the temperature for 5 seconds and set the temperature to 90 degrees. Press the time settings for 5 seconds and set the time to 20 seconds. The transfer will take 300 seconds. So. Let's set the time settings to 300 seconds. To make the 3D films, we have to make some changes to the heating pad. Now see our technician how he changes the cover of the ceiling. Take off the silicone cover and attach the ceiling lines to the borders of the cover. Now check the position of the metal. We have to change the position of this metal. You can see how our technician changes this position of the metal. This is how the metal should be to make the film of the 3D cover. Sometimes after a long time use of the machine, the ceiling lines won't fit the heating pad. So here is the process. Insert the small needle to the ceiling lines and cut the top of the needle. Then you can use the ceiling line again with the needle.
Now we put the heating pad back into the machine. Let's start heating the machine. Press power and start heating. Now we start the sublimation of the 3D film on the iPhone cover. For that, take out the oven. Remove the heating pad and put the oven back into the machine. Open the tray of the heating pad and put in the iPhone cover. Fix the 3D film into the heating pad to the small metal portion. Close the cover of the heating pad. Put it back into the oven for the sublimation. Now let's wait for 20 seconds. It needs 20 seconds for the vacuum to start working. For the pressure of the pump, it will be 0 0.06 PA. After 20 seconds, it will start working. You can see the power of the vacuum pump going to 0 0.06 PA. When you hear the beep, the process is over. You can take out the mobile cover from the heating pad of the sublimation machine. Press the green button again. Put the oven back into the machine. Open the tray. And you can see the beautiful iPhone cover coming out of the heating pad. You can see the color effects. It has got four angles and a very beautiful effect. But as you can see, the cover is very soft. So to get it back to the original stage, put it in the special mode to cool down for a few seconds. After two minutes, you can check. The lines are very straight. It means it's in the perfect shape. You can see our technician putting the sublimated iPhone cover to the phone. Wow, how beautiful it looks now. Now we introduce the process of sublimation on different cups. As you see, first we do the sublimations on the coffee mugs. Take the picture you want, print it and attach it to the coffee mug with a tape like this. Attach the cup to the rubber clamp. This is how our technician is doing. We can put four coffee mugs at a time. You can see one, two, three, four. Same is the process for the couple mugs. As you can as you can see, whatever picture you want, take the print, stick it on the mugs. Apply a tape on it.
stick the picture firmly on the cup using the tape. Now use a special mode for the couple marks. To stick the picture firmly, put it in the special mode and cover it with the cover. Now it's ready for the sublimation. Put the heating pad into the oven. First of all, cancel the settings of the 3D film. For that, press the time setting button for 5 seconds. Press the minus button and when the settings comes to zero, press the plus button. After 3 seconds, you can see the on and off on the display. For the white mug, the temperature setting is 190 degrees and the time setting is 360 seconds. For the couple mug, the temperature is 190 degrees and the time setting is 600 seconds. Because the mode has a cover, so it takes a longer time, that is 600 seconds. Now we show you the heating process on the short glasses. The process is the same. We can do four glasses at a time. One, two, three, and four. Cover the special mode with the cover. It needs to get vacuumated. Press the vacuum button and you can see the process of vacuumation. The temperature setting is 190 degrees and the time needs is 480 seconds. Nowadays, sublimation on the ceramic plate is very popular. It's one of the art that attract the people. For that, take a picture, stick it on the center of the plate using the tape. With the silicone mode, please pay attention how our technician is doing it. Use one hand to hold the plate and with the other hand you can cover the mode on the plate. Now attach the air hose to the machine. Take, it, take the oven out of the machine. There is a hole where you can attach the air hose. Attach the other air hose to the ceramic plate. Now start the vacuum of the machine. You can see how fast the ceramic plate is getting vacuumated. Put it inside, close the machine and set the temperature to 190 degrees and the time is 360 seconds. When the time is over, you can hear the beep of the machine. Turn it off and take out the plate from the oven. Can't wait to see the effect of the sublimation. Wow, you see how beautiful it is. Perfect to, for the living room.
Now, if you want the full sublimation on the plate, for that we need the 3D film. The process of the 3D film is same as we have done for iPhone cover. This year we have developed new modes for the three layers cup. This is with handle and this is without handle. Now here we introduce the process of the sublimation. If you want the sublimation on three layer cup this is how we do. This is the already stick paper on the cup. You can see Inside also we have a picture, so it's three layer sublimation on this cup. For this, put the cup with the picture into the mold. Cover it with the mold cover. Now it's ready to put in the machine. This is how we do our process. Take out the oven. The, if the air hose is already attached, just attach the other end to the mode. Press the vacuum button. You can see the cup is getting vacuumated. When the vacuumation is done, put the cover in the oven, put it in the machine, set the temperature to 190 degrees and the time setting is 360 seconds. Long ago we can do the sublimations only on the circular bottle, but our company has developed the new modes that can also do the sublimations on the triangular models. Here we introduce the sublimation process of the triangular model. This is the special mode. You can also make it bigger depends on the size of your product. Put the mode in the mode, cover the mode. And rest of the process is the same. Attach one end of the air force to the cover of the mode and start the vacuum button. You can see the triangular bottle is getting vacuumated. The shape is easily visible after vacuumation. This is the plastic bottle. When you do the plastic sublimation, please take care the plastic mug should be two layers because the plastic can melt very easily. So when you want to do the sublimation, just put the second layer into the mode, cover it with the mode cover, attach the air hose to the mode cover and start the vacuum button. You can see the plastic cover is getting vacuumated. Now it's ready for the sublimation. When the time is over, we can hear the beep of the machine. Here it goes. Now let's see the sublimation on the three layer cup. Take out the cup from the mode. You can see the beautiful mark. The first layer.
the second layer and also we have the third layer inside the mug. This is the third layer inside the mug. Isn't it a beautiful present for your kids? Now we introduce the sublimation process on the crystals and slates. The biggest size of the crystals and slates should be 15 by 20 by 2 centimeter. Take the heating pad of the machine and unplug the two rubbers that are attached to the heating pads. Put the crystal inside the tray. and cover the heating pad. Attach the air hose to the end of the heating pad and start the vacuum button. You can see how the crystal is getting vacuumated. The temperature should be 190 degrees and the time setting is 360 seconds. Here are the accessories that comes with the machine. The first one is the seven pieces of iPhone cover model. Next is the cooling pad. The other one is the silicon uh, cover of the ceramic plate. Couple mug mode. the mode for the cups without handle, the mode for the cup with handle, 3D film silicon cover, two ceiling lines, One mode with cover for the bar glasses, a hair hose, heat proof gloves, and four rubber clamps for the coffee mugs. And a memory stick with the specification and software of FreeSub. <laughs>